De Elfstedentocht is like a virus. Ice skating is typically something for our culture. The Elfstedentocht. A gruelling 200 kilometre race that takes place upon the frozen canals, rivers and lakes of Friesland, passing through each of the province's 11 cities. Year after year as the temperature drops and water begins to freeze, excitement about the possibility of a 16th ever tour grips the Netherlands. But what is it about this race that is such a part of Dutch culture? Wilfred van Eisden, now a teacher, recalls his first ever experience with the Elfstede Tox as a young lad at the infamous race of 1963. In 1963, I remember very well, I, I was seven years old and that time we bought a, a little car, a Duff, a, a typically Dutch car <laughs> and, uh, and we went to the other side of uh, the IJsselmeer, Lake IJsselmeer, but uh, by car. It was frozen and uh, everybody was uh, skating and walking and cycling on the ice. and. We were driving with our car to the other side of the Eselmeer, and that's a quite unique experience. The race was hit by severe weather conditions, with temperatures on the day dropping as low as minus 18 degrees Celsius and severe winds pummeling the skaters. It was so cold freezing cold. I can't remember a winter that was so cold. The brutal conditions had a devastating effect on participants, with less than 1% of the 9,000 strong field crossing the finish line. They were led home by Renier Papin, who won in a time of 10 hours and 59 minutes, making the race one of the longest in the history of the event. There have been just three Elfsted and Tox since, with challenging weather conditions also hitting the last race in 1997, which was won by Henk Arkonet. The weather was uh, for me very good. It was a lot of uh, uh, windy and I liked it. And so that's probably uh, maybe by, maybe makes me the, the winner of, uh, of, of the, that race. So when I have, uh, I was very good at that, that day. Hulzebos daar achter. Zijn ploeggenoot van Bentham daar achter. Dan Verduin en nee, eerst kleine en dan Verduin. You win, and that's a win. You're about two centimeters. You have win that race, and that's between when you win a game or are you when you are second. Just as Renier Papin became a Dutch icon following his punishing victory in 63, Arkland has experienced the adulation of being Elfstede top champion and the celebrity status that comes with it. Every day I, uh, some, some people, some guy come to me uh, talking about the 11 city race. So uh, the whole, uh, yeah, you, you, your, your life is, is, of the 11 city race is a, is, is a part of the deal in, 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 in our lives. It was a long sprint. I, I look every day in the winter time on, on, uh, on the computer and you see uh, the, 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 the weather and you see, uh, okay, it's going frozen and you know that. And, and when it is really cold to frozen, I, I see that a week before, 10 days before. And then when it is really cold to frozen, my uh, telephone is ringing, 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 ringing. And when it's the, the temperature is higher, Telephones are still. Verduin, it is nog een end, hoor. Verduin. 16 years on from his victory, Arnhem believes that conquering the tour is the pinnacle of ice skating in the Netherlands. It's 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 in Netherlands when the the the, the temperature is going down and lower and lower. Everybody talks about the 11 city. I don't know why. I don't know why, but 
it's, it's happened every day. Every uh, uh, television station, every radio station. Het gaat om centimeters. Hulsebos of Algenend. Hulsebos of Algenend. Het wordt Algenend. Heet Algenend. Zuid. Over aan de Rijn. The Eleven City Club is the biggest you can, can win. Bigger than an uh, Olympic gold. The Elstede Tocht has earned itself a unique place within the Dutch culture. The fact it might only take place every 5, 10, even 20 years makes it all the more exciting when winter hits and the water connecting the 11 cities of Friesland begins to freeze. The 17 winners of the race are legends, and while it may be years before we have a new champion, the likes of Arkenen, who now teaches the sport, will ensure that the allure and romance of the Elstede Tocht is passed down through generations. I think Henk Angenent uh, will encourage the young people to, to be sportive and to cherish the, the tradition of the Elfstede Tocht. I'm sure. Yeah.